in many ways, we, we talk about the Northern Triangles being the, the most violent region on the planet uh, of a region that is not at war. But in many ways, that's not the case. The region is at war. There are gangs that are operating in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, primarily the MS-13 and the 18th Street Gang, that are terrorizing the civilian population. And as a result, you've seen many people flee within their countries, and often when that doesn't work, they fled to neighboring countries and eventually the United States. The political and economic insecurity in the Northern Triangle of Central America is unlikely to improve any time within the next few years. For the most part, the U.S. government, our partners in Central America, as well as a variety of intergovernmental organizations, are really looking to simply improve the situation slightly more than it is today. In many ways, there, there's no silver bullet. We're not going to see uh, tremendous increases in the number of people who have quality jobs. We're not going to see radical transformations of society over the next probably 10 to 15 years. In order to improve the conditions in the Northern Triangle of Central America, the U.S. and Central American partners have to come up with a, a new policy that deals with immigration between Central America and the United States, new economic policies that prioritize citizens over large multinational businesses, and work together to resolve or work towards a resolution of a new drug policy for the hemisphere that does not lead to so much violence and corruption.